Why is your glove off, dude? Yo, Tiff was being nasty earlier, guys. <laughs> I was trying to, I was trying to take an order, and I was like, "Oh, did we order it?" And Tiff, she was like, "Just put it in." Oh. oh. She didn't even say it like that. I was like, Just "Put it in." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to tone it down. <laughs> but I wasn't trying to say it's sexual. And then as soon as I was like, "Oh," she was like, "Oh, wait, I didn't." I was like, mm. "Uh huh." Really was sure. not trying. You. Someone's really horny today. <laughs> you guys. Tiff, are why are you so horny? Oh, Tiff. Oh yeah. And it rhymes with schmiffany schmel schmeal. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I really wish Joe was here for this one because he he has a special place in his heart for this particular place that we're about to talk about. Cornwallia? <laughs> no. <laughs> and it's not Two good guess? guesses. Two guess? Hold on. Two great uh, guesses. Raffle? No. Think uh, a little cleaner. This is like innocent Joe's heart who needed love as a child. Where did he want to Chuck E. Cheese? Birthday? Okay. Oh, okay. I love Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese. We all have that soft spot, right? For yes, I love Chuck E. Cheese. Heavily part of our childhood. Best pizza in the world. Oh. Amen, bro. Yes. Really good pizza. Yeah. Joe would be on Pornhub in Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's weird. But yeah, so I mean, Chuck E. Cheese, <laughs> there are reports now, guys. Hold mm. hold yourself. Ready? Yeah. You're sitting down, right? Everyone's oh, no. ready for this? I heard about it. They're going under? They <gasps> are say now it. almost one billion billion dollars in debt <gasps> and they're on the brink of bankruptcy and on the brink of, <gasps> of closing the business down completely. <gasps> Too many locations. When things open up, we should all go and like get find a random kid that we can that would be cool with us. But you need to go with one kid, one adult, right? They have one. But then five adults <laughs> with with just they just their have kid. one for me. Yeah. Mm. How do we get a kid for this? We gotta get a couple. Oh kids. I know, I know we could, we could get away with it. Someone has a birthday party there, and we can all go in without. Oh. Oh. Is that how? Go get fucked up. Go there. Pizza. So then you get a stamp for that party. You're oh, part of the party. Oh. Okay. 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 I'm That's down. I'm so down. I'm Let's actually do down. Yeah. Sometimes we say we're down for things, but we're not really that down. No, this I want to actually. Do. I'm very, very down. If they can make it through this tough time, they're. Well, <laughs> I actually have quite a few things to tell you about Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, poor Chuck. So that's like the first, like the main one that's like right now in this, the headlines and all that, right? So they are asking lenders for a 200 million U.S. dollar loan to keep the business going because when coronavirus hit, they had to close all 610 of its locations across the 47 states and they had to lay off 17,000 employees. Oh. And also what they ended up doing to keep the business running, which a lot of people were like, what the fuck? <laughs> Pizza was, to go? Well. Oh, they should have had that. That's so smart. No, 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 no listen, off. listen, it's, 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 this is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what they did is they created this new company called Pasquale's Pizza and they went on all the food delivery apps and they branded this whole restaurant as if it's like a whole new brand new restaurant. Wow. And then that's when people started discovering like people who love the pizza. They were like, wait a second, this is really <laughs> fucking familiar pizza. So this one lady, one time she texted the, the her food delivery person and she was like, by any chance, did this come from a Chuck E. Cheese? And she was like, yeah, it was really weird. Like there was like, it, in the Chuck E. Cheese restaurant, there was like the Pasquale's Pizza logo on the window. <laughs> and so that's what they were, had been doing is like kind of like, a lot of people feel like deceived a bit where it's like just fucking well, be straight. After Shane Dawson's video. Was this oh, his video? Oh yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I'm guaranteeing because, you know, I mean obviously you don't, you're not gonna order Chuck E. Cheese pizza on Postmates, even if that didn't come out. Mm. But after I that would. video. That's where you're wrong, my friend. A lot of people would. I think that's where they fucked up. Yep. If you are known for Maybe the Maybe they pizza. were afraid though because of that. The, the I just, So I didn't watch that video. Yeah. But really that's good. also like if there was Disneyland churros on Postmates, Ooh. that's going to do way better oh, than Disneyno's yeah. churros. <laughs> Right? I'm like, what the fuck is Pasquale's Pasquale pizza? Pasquale is the pizza guy. The, the I don't know that. I just oh, know the really? mouse. Oh, yeah, his yeah. name is Pasquale. What? Damn. Oh, funny, dude. But if the mouse was on the box, then I would have got it. Yeah. Well, people felt deceived because they felt like they were supporting like a local it, Italian that's, place. That's the main thing, yes. <laughs> that's oh, hilarious. That's the main thing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Tim. I get that. Got my back. Yeah. I know how we're, ta we're just talking off camera about how I don't like pizza out here. Chuck E. Cheese pizza is really, really good. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. You don't like pizza in general? No, I love here. pizza, but there's not that much oh, out here that's that good. Oh, but I know like as one of the top ones, better than Papa John's, better than Domino's, Chuck E. Cheese was amazing. I love it. I remember one time, um, me and my boy, we were like just like sophomores in high school, and we were just gonna hang out at the mall, you know, when you're fucking, you can't do shit, but just go to the mall. And we didn't know it was like a Memorial Day weekend, so the whole mall was closed, but oh. Chuck E. Cheese was open. 
So we had already had our parents like drop us off to chill at the mall for like six hours, you know? And we're like, fuck, what are we gonna do? And we're like, oh, Chuck E. Cheese is open, but we were too old to go inside. Mm. So we went in and we were allowed to order pizza to go and we just sat in the parking lot of a Chuck E. Cheese eating pizza and it was amazing. For six, six hours. hours. Mixed match yeah, chips? Pretty much. Did it come with like the mix, mix, uh, mix and matched shapes or? I've, what? Oh, no, 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 not that I remember. Yeah. Oh, shame. <sighs> I know, I remember those days, those really fun days in, in high school. Because <laughs> Damon Buster's isn't the same. That's what it felt. Yeah. That's what I'm what saying. Adults, it's yeah. like it is fun though. It's fun. I like drinking there and stuff. But then sometimes, like, maybe you just had more fun as a kid and everything was better. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys ever do the in between the the DZ Discovery Zone? Yeah. Yes. That was my favorite. I never went. Discovery What's that? Zone. What's that? Once. It literally shat on Chuck E. Cheese from in yeah. my opinion. It, it, it was yeah. marketed towards more like older than Chuck E. Cheese, almost like. Teens. Yeah, like junior high, like tweensy, teensy spot like that. I was like really that. young when I went. Really? I didn't even know that. It was uh, like active kids. I yeah. think I think it's like the Mighty Kids group. Cause <laughs> it's like an indoor <laughs> playground to the max. There's like tunnels and shit they could climb through. fucking yeah. fun. My favorite thing that I miss to this day is like the rolly thingies. Like, uh, Me too! Slide. Are you kidding me? Like, That's my favorite The rolly shit. thingies and it would like massage your butt. They butter. were rainbow rolly <laughs> Yeah, was sick. that was my favorite thing. But my fingers would get caught in there. Yeah, <laughs> that was dangerous. <laughs> But yeah, or my hair. Yeah. Nothing yeah. is better than Andretti's in Florida, though. That was sick. What's that? That's for adults. That? It's this place that we went to after Playlist Live, where you there's straight up, uh, what is it, go kart racing? Indoor, indoor, indoor yeah. go kart yeah. racing. Because Andretti is like a Formula One. Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With food. Uh, yep. Slash games, drinks. Yeah. That was. Yeah, so it's, it's like uh, yeah, so it's like a uh, golfing stuff for uh, in in tours. But indoors. And nicer. And, and way nicer. And like yeah. sick arcade machines, not like the old shit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the old shit's cool, but it's not all dirty. And VR yeah. shit too. Well, oh, okay. Well, that's tight. Would you would you pay for like say? Because then I remember when we had back home is like I forgot the name of the place, but it was like buffets that also had like the st same stuff as Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, right? the pizza one. Oh, yeah. Pipers. Yeah. Pe pe <laughs> Pizza Piper. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? So yeah. that's what Round we had. Round table pizza? No. Pizza Piper and picked had, like, a pack of pickles. There were rooms that were different <laughs> themes, right? Uh, yeah. But like imagine Disneyland had like, say you had to pay like an extra hundred bucks, but it's all day you can just go play on rides and then go back to a buffet and eat it. Oh, food. that's cool. Oh, for at Disneyland? Yeah. That'll be tight. Fuck yeah. Just, just the goddamn lines. Goddamn lines. I don't mind the lines. That's what I would sound like. At Disneyland? Yeah. It's like three hours on the ride. Not if you get the fast pass. Yeah, not Max. if you, Well, we got to do the VIP thing at, at Disney. For all of them. I know, I know. Unless you do VIP. Dude. Uh, so we got VIP through Maker at the time. That shit was amazing. It was amazing. It's like what the celebrities get and shit. Yep. They have a private employee that like takes you in a little group. Oh my god. And then you like um, skip all the lines you enter through the back of the rides. What? Oh, it was yeah. amazing. Is that connections only or can you buy it? Well, I, I asked because I ended up keeping in contact with that Disney employee that was taking us around. Oh, I and I kind of like inquired like how much it might be if I just wanted to do that. And it's a lot. What's it's like 11 yeah. G's, right? Isn't it like 10 or 40? I don't forgot. Like thousand. It's a big, <laughs> it is a big difference, but I just don't remember. I think it might be 40,000. What? Whoa. I don't think it was that much. 40,000 dollars. One's whole year salary. That's crazy. It was fucking awesome. Yeah. So you go on Space Mountain and like, do you want to go again? And you're like, yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. And they're like, see ya. Like, it's yeah. so cool. Wait, if it's thousands, right? Thousands for how big of a group? Because if you split it. It was just me, Wait, Tim, Rick, time? Nikki, and. It wasn't a big grip. Yeah, group. it wasn't that big. Grip? <laughs> group? It wasn't, it wasn't a grip of group. That's tight. Okay, well, hold on. Before we, oh, we uh, continue with more so awesome things like Disneyland, there's so much more about Chuck E. Cheese I gotta tell you. Cheese! Oh. Oh, no. On purpose. That wasn't even on purpose. It wasn't on purpose. No. You know what? I'm just going to tell you the origin story first. Have you guys heard of the origin story? It's a French rat that learned how to make pizza. And he crawled into mutagen mm -hmm. and then. Became big. There was a Donatello. Yeah. <laughs> That's his friend. <laughs> Fucking. He learned how to. He learned Ninja Kung Turtles. Fu. Mm -hmm. Okay, here it is. Ready? I'm going to read it. Chuck E. Cheese grew up in an orphanage called St. Marinara's. Oh, God. <laughs> That's tight. <laughs> because he was an orphan, Chuck did not know his own birthday, but loved celebrating the birthdays of other orphans in the orphanage. Hmm. He loved music and games, and he especially loved singing Happy Birthday, even though he'd never heard, heard it sung to himself. Uh. One day, when Chuck grew, up, grew too old to stay at the orphanage, he moved to New York City. There, he was sad, lonely, and homeless. 
He decided to sleep in a pizza pizzeria because he loved the music from the radio and the smell of pizza. Eventually, he got caught by the pizza shop owner who tried to kill him. The oh, only thing, the only thing that saved Chuck was his singing. The pizzeria <laughs> owner thought he had a great voice and employed him to sing to his customers in the restaurant. On his first night up on stage, Chuck was too afraid to sing and, and kept getting booed. Long story short, he saw a boy with a birthday crown and couldn't help but sing. The crowd cheered and the pizzeria became the most popular spot in town forevermore. Perfect hmm. for families and birthday parties. They didn't like singing at first because it was, it was just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't Those know, creeped me I don't out. Know you guys, but that was a sad ass That's origin. Sad. Yeah, a what a sad, sad story. story. He still never had a, a birthday. <laughs> For himself? Yeah. I know, because he doesn't know his that. birthday. Yeah, true. They're trying to get $200 million with that story? <laughs> Sob story, bro. That's the way to do it. No, that was the origin, like, since it's on the Wikipedia page, and, like, they actually printed out a book years ago. It's kind of a cool it story. It says the origin story in that book, too. Dude, so Pizza What's His Fate, man. Like, what are the chances of being at, what, what was it, Marinara? Marinara Orphanage. Right? It's Marinara crazy. Orphanage. It's and then the so happened to be at a pizzeria. And his best friend named Pasquale, like <laughs> Pasquale's Pizza, you know. Wow. How do you meet the purple gorilla? Yeah. Favorite. That's acid. Oh acid. shit! Wow. Cool. What's his name? He was just on acid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought you said his name. <laughs> I was like Bassett. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. And the last final thing I have to to talk about Chuck E. Cheese here is that right before Corona hit. They had expected to remodel over 80 locations Damn. and be done by the end of 2019. Uh, so they actually had gotten rid of the animatronic robot band. And I like that they band. had gotten rid of the tokens as well. So this is like... No tokens? Yeah, no more tokens. Oh, the cards. Now, but it's not like Dave & Buster where you have to... like Load it. Like you have to pay for each game. It's not like that. The chip in your hand. Cheese. Or like a wristband. Um, at Chuck E. Cheese, instead, the parents load up the amount of time kids could be playing. So it's what? unlimited plays wow. for a certain amount of time, and the parent just reloads the time. And you get tickets wow. still? No. Uh, yes, you still oh, get that's tickets. Crazy. That's pretty cool. You don't get uh, or no more tokens. Wow. So basically, it's sicker than ever before. I know, yeah. and I'm like, fuck, please don't close. I want to go. But they got rid of the animatronic band. That kind of sucks. That part is yeah. like, oh man, well, that, that was part of the childhood. Not. It's good for I'm the kids. I'm okay kids without that. Yeah. They yeah. creeped yeah. me I'm, out when I was the a kids kid. Were scared if of they it. said. Corona started at a Chuck E. Cheese, I would have believed it though. Oh yeah. Oh fuck yeah. <laughs> it's the bat member of the band. That's what it is. He was scary. That one right there. Oh no, that's a chicken. That's a chicken, yeah. dog. What is this? The purple that's gorilla. The purple. Oh, he's a gorilla? I want to know how he got his shirt on over his head. He's the drummer. Nobody ever remembers <laughs> the drummer. They made it. Yeah, they put it on him. Sewed it to him. Maybe like they took out the animatronic band, but they replaced it with like fucking like no. super smooth robots. No, they, <laughs> they, it, they replaced it with this dance floor that when you step on it, it lights up. Uh, so I'm the? like, I want to be a kid right now and go there. Cause yeah, the animatronic band, it was kind of- I have so many pictures of me crying next to the <laughs> animatronic band. Yes. That shit scared the shit out of There's me. There's no picture of a smiling kid next to it. It's the eyes. Yeah. And also the mouth, like why do they have to make their mouth so huge and Well, because they made it in like the 80s and then they just, was like this is it. You guys ever heard of uh, Five Nights at Freddy's? Oh my god, yeah, see that's what it reminded me well, of. that's what it's based off of, isn't it? Like, I'm not sure. So it's this video game, it's like a scary video game where you're at the, pretty much like a different version of like a pizza parlor. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese called Freddy's. Hmm. And and then so you're there at night and you're pretty much trying to re retrieve items yeah. or something. Well, no, the animatronic characters end up eating kids. <laughs> it's like fucking a, scary. You're like a security guard and you gotta keep watch of these animatronics from moving. And then when they move, you have to be careful because like you gotta like constantly check the doors. And if you open the door on them, like when the animatronic is right outside, then you literally die. It's a fucking game. scary fever dream. Oh, it and is. Then, like they constantly. <laughs> do jump scares at you. Yeah. And oh, Isaac keeps wanting me to play and I'm like, please, son, no. Yeah, I My can't. son. I want to play that Shrek one. 